If you missed WWF Insurrection from Earl's Court last week, you can still catch it on Sky Box Office. Channel 770 is repeated every three hours until 9 o'clock tonight. Now, from wrestling to cricket and proof that boys out in the uh, West Indies are still doing their bit for the campaign. This is from the um, West Indies versus South Africa. Fifth One Day International in Barbados. Oh. <laughs> Another first for the campaign today is our first show of support from the strange world of American football. This was seen at last Sunday's match between Berlin Thunder and the Scottish Claymores at Hampden. Yeah. There it is! <laughs> well done. Now remember, anyone getting a banner to a game that we see on television will get a Save Chip T-shirt. Today's final in Cardiff will be a massive occasion with the game being beamed to over 150 countries. You may never get a better chance to spread the message. This week, T-shirts go to Alex Shepperton and Dean Fotherington, Chris Shadbolt, Justine and Steve Wilk, Simon Walsh and Stuart Dunsmore, Slaps and Booney, John Gillard and Lewis Hill, David Williams, Tom Wood, Phil James, Stuart Williams, Matt Hutchins and Mates, Tim Hassel, Andy the Fox Bullen and Liz the Vixen McCleavy, Darren Bryce. Also, thanks to the Hammerettes, to Joff Rogers and the Care Sues team from Wales. Me out this morning. Discharge? Yeah, but they give me some pills. Right, that's, uh... <laughs> Oh, stop, it's uh, <laughs> it is soccer at time. Time to yes. unleash this morning's stutter. She's 21 years old. Yes. She's five foot five inches tall. Yes. She's 34, 24, 36. She comes from Ealing in West London, and she's called mm, Joanna Gaskaroska. Oh, yeah. Just Gruska. Yes. Yes. How do you pronounce your surname? Gazirovska. Gazirovska. All right, OK, first of all, who do you support? Princess. The bees. Wusu. <laughs> all right, what is your... Joe, Anna, what's your nickname? Joe. Joe. Just That's Joe. That's dull. I know. You've got to think of something better for me. Gaza. There you go. You're now called Gaza. All right, what is your job? I'm a student. Oh. Tax dodger! Oh. 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 <laughs> <laughs> what, what are you studying? Uh, journalism and psychology. Right, and what do you want to be when you grow sports up? Sports journalist. A sports journalist. I'll tell you what, I've got a scoop for you. Hey! Hey! There you go. It's a gag. It's a gag. It's a gag. Thank you. Bradley Walsh will like that. It's a good gag. All right, uh, are you married? No. Oh! Do you have a boyfriend? I do have a boyfriend. Oh. <laughs> what, what's his name? Enzo. Ah. Oh. Italian. Is he Italian? He's Italian. Definitely will never last <laughs> that. <laughs> Italian. They like free love, don't they, Italians? Yeah, maybe. Do you really? go pitch your bum a lot? That's what they do, don't they? They walk around town. He does, people, actually. Does he? Does, no, yeah. they do. They do. Anyway, how long, how long have you been together? About three and a half years. Now. Three and a half years. Will never last. Never last. And uh, what is it he does for a living? He's a wine broker. A wine broker. My goodness, that is amazing. <laughs> I'll tell you why that is amazing, because I went out with a posh bird once, and so I thought I'd get into wine for, for her, right? So I used to take her back bottles of wine, and I took her back you know, a Chardonnay, I took her back a Rioja and a Sancerre. But you should have seen her, her face light up when I walked in with a semi on. <laughs> Because you're all so uncouth, it's a type of wine. OK, what is an interesting fact about yourself? I speak fluent Polish. OK, all right, then, well, give us a go. Say something. 
Cześć, mamo i tato. That's filthy. Oh. <laughs> now, we thought what we'd do is we would test your Polish, and uh, we thought of, of a great way of doing it, Joe. What we're going to do is, uh, as you may know, we have an interest in the only Polish team in the league, that is Warsaw. Um, and we were wondering if you could do a spot of translating for us. This is the Warsaw manager, Ray Graydon. Um, could you tell us here what he's saying? There are other teams that I consider have a great chance of getting automatic promotion, but I consider those three teams very strong. Go on then, what? what? Well, he says there's other teams there that are, you know, he thinks are going to be able to get some promotion, so... Right, OK, well, we have actually no knowledge of what he's saying, because it's obviously Polish, so here we go. We'll see if you're right, because we've got some subtitles here. There are other teams that I consider have a great chance of getting automatic promotion, but I consider those three teams very strong. I think you, I think you do know your stuff. Very, very well done. Now, as we've got the Liverpool and Arsenal fans in, uh, they'll obviously be playing for a very special prize later on the show. But, hey, I, I know what you lot want. Let's have a look at the T-shirt, please. Yes. 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 Bada, 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 bing. Oh, what's that? What's that there? Oh, hello. You ready to cowl with me, missus? Ready. All right, cue the music, please. Very good. Very good. Uh, David James, is she all right? You're a model, aren't you? Oh, that giant. <laughs> <laughs> was she all right? You're a model. And, and say to oh, <laughs> tell oh, Tim what you just said to oh, me. Yeah, come on. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> Better not, eh? <laughs> Got another two shows to go. All right, OK, now, obviously, you're a pro, Joe. We've got to pick these guys here. They're amateurs, not Brian, but one Arsenal fan, please, for us to catwalk. Right, I think this gentleman over here. Oh, OK, and one, one Liverpool fan, please. Right, are you ready, guys? Uh, cue the music, plays. Schoolboy error. I'm sorry about that. OK, very well done, very well done. Now, only two shows this uh, left this season. If you want to be a Soccer M Soccerette, uh, if you want to have a lot of fun with me and the boys, get a picture into the show as soon as possible. Make sure you're looking tidy. Uh, make, sure you, make sure you put a bit of slap on and uh, make sure you have your address on it. And uh, make sure you send me your phone number as well. We need your phone number for this. This is the address. It's Soccer M, PO Box 11, Isleworth, Middlesex, TW7, 5QQ. There you go, 5QQ. You're hot. Ah. Should I take a seat, please? Thank you. Oh, hey. Every time. Right, now, as always, we've got the old monkey hangers locker. Who wants, who wants, to, who wants to see me get the kernel out? Yay. I'm going to get the kernel out because it's still a mess in here. Anyway, Lovejoy, a very good show as ever. Fantastic for morale, fantastic to see you, eh, Ginger? Draw, draw! <laughs> you, James, morning, sir, morning, sir. Ginger here tells me you look good in nets. <laughs> Lord knows how Ginger found that out, but never mind. I'm sure it, they came in handy at the old Liverpool FC Christmas parties. <laughs> hey, hey, James. Now you, Walsh, 
Very good to see you, old boy. <laughs> Follow your career very closely, and must say, I'm a big admirer of yours, precisely for the reason that I felt sorry for you when you were playing straight man to Joe Pasquale. <laughs> now, love Joey. As we all know, in any comedy duo, there's a straight man and there's the funny man, eh, Ginger? <laughs> exactly, love Joey. <laughs> I loved his song. I know a song that'll get on your nerves, get on your nerves. And as you must know, Ginger is fond of his crab dance. Aren't you, Ginger? <laughs> no, you are, Ginger. Now, come on, Ginger, you're as bold as brass in front of the Navy boys. Now, now, now dance for Walsh. Dance, Ginger. <laughs> Thank you, old boy. Thank you. And you, Macketeer, your hair. How on earth did you get it looking so marvellous, old boy? So silky smooth and full of vitality, eh, Lovejoy? Top hole, old boy. Anyway, Lovejoy, we're off now for some top scrag and rations of ginger beer, eh, Ginger? Rah! <laughs> 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 As well as uh, old monkey hangers locker here, we've got uh, the Soccerettes locker and we've got the Liverpool locker. Now, it's been an amazing season in the Cups for Liverpool. Uh, they've already bagged the Worthy Cup. They've got the Waffa Cup final next week and today the FA Cup final. Can they do the treble? Ooh, it's going to be very tough. It's going to be very tough. What could be in their locker? It's Phil Collins! Not bad, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, right, yeah, not so bad, Tim. Not so bad, yeah. What have you been up right. to? Well, I've been locked away, you know, in uh, recording my new album in the Stu Stu studio. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, but I've decided to get away from the uh, the hectic London lifestyle. I got myself a Stu Stu studio down in, uh, in Exeter. Right. Uh, but something happened on the way to Devon. <laughs> I was, uh, <laughs> I was with my new bird, she's only 17. Yeah. And uh, we've got a groovy kind of love, but uh. she's, a, she's a bit high maintenance, you see. And she yeah. says, Phil, can you get us a pair of those crocodile shoes? And I thought, hey, I can't do that. I know I'm worth a few bob, but they're well steep, them crocodile Is shoes. Is going to go on long? <laughs> hey, you can't hurry love, Joy. <laughs> <laughs> so I thought, yeah, I'll go and on my own. I'll go and get my own crocodile yeah. shoes. So I got on the blower to my old, uh, my old mate, Philip Bailey. <laughs> he said, uh, fancy going down that crocodile farm in Torquay and getting, you know, getting a crocodile. He says, yeah, go on then. So we met up. And he's, he's straight in there, he rolls up his keks, you know, wades straight in, sees the biggest croc he can, uh. gets hold of it and he's wrestling it, you know. Uh. Really struggling, man uh. against beast. Uh. You know, <laughs> Titanic struggle. Uh. And uh, I could see he was struggling, so I says, hey, easy lover. And uh, <laughs> it gave me a bit of a funny look. But uh, so I thought, I best get my hands dirty. So I went in, you know, grabbed all of its tail, and they're helping him, you know, struggling with it. Uh, so I got hold of my drumsticks, uh, you know. Uh, and uh, we've managed to drag it out, you know, it was a big uh, one. I think it was a salty. Uh, and uh, <laughs> we got it, and we dragged it out onto the shore. And uh, we're there, and it's still wriggling, this croc. It's uh, so, like we're hitting it with half brick, you know, uh, knocking all the life out uh, of it. And uh, so we ended, we ended anyway. It was half dead anyway. So uh, right. we got it and we flipped it up onto its back. <laughs> and it was oh, we were absolutely gutted. We flipped it onto oh, its back. Oh, and why were you so gutted? Well, they had no shoes on. Hey! 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 Oh. Anyway, listen, are you going to stay for lunch? I'll tell you, because the canteen does some great baked potatoes. Nah, no jacket required. <laughs> <laughs> no, I've got to be getting off anyway. I'm playing a gig over in Russia, so uh, Moscow. See you then. Bye. Bye. It's, uh, <laughs> Uh, Liverpool locker against all odds. Then we've got the Arsenal locker here. Uh, what about the rip roaring top scoring gunners? A couple of seasons ago, they were winning trophies for fun. Uh, Premiership titles here, FA Cups there. They really looked like they could challenge Manchester United. But then it all stopped. If I'm right, they've not won anything this century. But today, they've got a great chance of getting their hands on a trophy. Uh, what could be in the Arsenal locker? Hello, mate! Hello, mate! Jamie Oliver! <laughs> Hello, mate. Hello, that is 
He's no packer, but we may. Ain't no choice. No gala. Hello, matey. Hello. 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 I'm all right, mate. I'm having a blinding time at a minute. You know what I was doing last week? What were you doing? It was packer. I was cooking. I was cooking a meal, right? For at the mess bar. The, the mess, mess bar, bar yeah. yeah. For all the top celebrities, right? Anyone who is anyone in the world of celebrities was there. It's Bradley Walsh, sir. Nah, Bradley wasn't there. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> Morning, bed. I'll get you that! Choy, choy, fucker. Yeah. Anyway, I'm a what? Ainsley was there, right? Ainsley Harriet was there, you know, he's, he's trying oh, to steal yeah. my limelight. He's trying to be number one top celebrity chef, yeah, yeah. yeah. What was he doing? Well, he was doing the main courses, wasn't he? Was he? What did he cook? Well, he was doing like uh, liver, devil's kidneys, kidneys, yeah. and uh, monkey brains. Oh, that sounds awful. Oh, mate, you're not joking. He's <laughs> absolutely <laughs> minging. Now, nah, but I've got Lambert doing the sweets, but I don't mind doing sweets, because my dad bound at doing, you know, the sweet uh, calls. I'm pucker. Uh, um, but, you know, those celebrities, they all want a variety of different things, so it's a bit Do tricky. They? Yeah. yeah so well, what would you give them? Well, Dale Winton, Michael Barrymore, and that geezer from Boyzone, they're the mixed fruits. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Jordan was there with, uh, with, with Dwight York, because yeah, yeah. Dwight was enjoying the melon. Um, <laughs> Oh, and Robbie Williams, he was really getting stuck into the moose. Yeah. Yeah, but... <laughs> <laughs> no, but I, I, I think him and Jerry sold it yeah, out, yeah, and, you know, they were packed after that. Yeah. Yeah. No, but the problem was, though, oh, my piece of resistance, my yeah. piece of resistance, yeah. that is not easy for me to no, say, believe no, me, no. was a, a lovely cake, right, and what I was going to put around the top of the cake was, like, pucker, like, peel from, like, oranges and things like that. The rinds. Yeah, but Ainsley's yeah. gone in there, hasn't he? And he's only, he's only, he's only gone away with him, done, done off with many. <laughs> Ainsley's taking the piss. Well, as usual, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah but no, no. Give it a, give it a chance, mate. <laughs> not only that, mate, not only that, but he's only done off with the knives, forks, the spoons, the candelabras, the lot. I am desperate for silverware. Ha <laughs> 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 That is choice. That is choice. <laughs> That is the uh, Arsenal Locker, desperate for silverware. OK, if you'd like to join me again, please. Woo! Lovely. Sure. Yeah, look at yeah, that. Yeah. OK, no T-shirt on offer this week, so it's back to Hell's Bell. She's gorgeous. Thanks very much, Tim. Right, we'll see you after the break for the Third Eyes, the showboat, and the Soccerette taking more clues off. Just revealing new kits. Yes. Anyway, first up today, this is the brand-new Rochdale... Yeah! The club say that it will be available within the next 10 days in the shop or online at www.rochdalefootballclub.co.uk. It's priced £34.99p. Next we have Kidderminster Home. Yeah! Here we are. Kidderminster's brand new home shirt made by Le Cog Sportif. This can be pre-ordered now, priced £34.99 if ordered before... 2nd of July from www.harriers.co.uk. This will be released to fans in August and we have Kidderminster away. There's yeah! 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 a new away shirt also made by Le Cog Sportive. The silver colour marks a change from the club's traditional yellow and blue away strip. It'll be seen for the first time during the pre-season game versus the Baggies on the 28th of July. The club hope to have it on sale from the end of September. This is the new Port Vale yeah! shirt. Port Vale's home shirt made by Patrick. The price has yet to be finalised, but it will be available from the 2nd of June from the club shop or online at www.portvale.co.uk. Finally, this is the new Aston Villa home shirt. Made by Diodora, available from the 5th of June. Costs £42.99 for long-sleeved or $39.99 for short sleeve. Joe, thank you very much indeed. <laughs> <laughs> well done, Joe.